Good morning, Celebration Church community. It's Pastor Emerson Davis with today's winning word. Now, about 12 years ago, I had an opportunity to work at a Christian school. And this Christian school was unique for a couple of reasons. Um, so when I, when I worked there, I was the Bible teacher. I was also a chaplain for the basketball team one of the years. And the thing that was unique about the school was that, one, it was an international school, meaning that a lot of the students came from other countries, mainly um, China and South Korea. And they made up about half the population of the school. The other unique thing was that the school was known as a basketball powerhouse. Um, five out of the six years that I worked there, we had a top 15 ranked um, team in the country. And several of the players went on to play in the NBA. The most famous, popular known player is Kevin Durant, who I missed by two years. He, he graduated two years before I started working there. And so I worked as a Bible teacher. I taught um, 12th grade Bible and had an experience that really changed my life um, because of one of my students. So my class was about, about 30 students. Half the students were um, Asian students and the other half was mainly made up of basketball players. So as I was teaching one day, um, I forgot what I said, but I used some kind of expression, some kind of slang that, you know, I just assumed everybody knew what I was talking about. I didn't think twice about it. And, you know, the class ended, students were leaving, but one, one of the students came to my desk and approached me. Now this student is now currently in the NBA. I'm not gonna give his name. He was the star of our basketball player. He's about six, seven, big muscular dude. He was like, Mr. Davis, let me talk to you real quick. You know, so I'm like, what's up, like, what, what you need? And he told me, you know, when, when you say what you said, that expression that you use, we understood it, but the international students don't understand what you're talking about. You know, they don't know American slang. So you gotta, you gotta correct how you teach because if you teach like that, they are gonna miss half of what you're teaching. So when he said it, you know, my immediate thought was, if you don't get out of my face with your six, seven self, but I didn't say that. I pretty much dismissed him and said, all right, thank you, bye, peace. But when I got home, I felt convicted because I knew he was right. I realized, you know, in my years teaching there, I was really catering everything towards the American students and being more specific, like the basketball team. And I realized that I was missing a lot of the Asian students with what I was saying. And I had to learn that. I had to learn to become a better teacher. And by the time that I finished at this school, I had a great relationship with the Asian students because I took the time to really understand their culture, understand, you know, their expressions, their slang that they use. And, you know, it, it improved me as a teacher. And what I learned was that Paul was dealing with the same thing. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul talks about the different various people groups that he, that he ministers to. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 22, is really powerful what he says. He says, to the weak, I'll become weak, to win the weak. I have become all things to all people so that by all possible means, I might save some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel that I, might, that I may share in its blessings. Paul recognized the fact that in order to reach people, you gotta meet them where they're at. You know, you just can't stick to one format, one formula, I think it's going to work for everybody. You know, I have a five-year-old son, and the way that I teach my son is different than how I teach my middle schoolers. You know, with my son, I might get on the floor with him and use his action figures to, to teach him Bible stories. But I do that for the sake of the gospel. I do that so that he can be discipled, and that's my motivation for doing that. And I just remember the fact that I do music. I do Christian hip-hop music. And my whole motivation behind that is that I, re I recognize that there's a community of people that love hip hop music, that they love hearing beats with rhymes. And it's the way that I use my gift that God has given me in order to reach them, you know, in order to communicate the gospel in a way that they understand, in a way that they can relate to. So I want to encourage everybody to recognize the fact that as believers, we're called to reach all people, people at your job, people in your community, people in your family, but make sure that you meet them where they're at. Make sure that you become all things to all people for the sake of, sake of the gospel. Father God, I just thank you for this opportunity just to share your word, Lord. I thank you for that, that basketball player that confronted me and it, it convicted me, Lord, to remember the fact that I got to become all things for all people, Lord. So please help us, your people, 
Please help us as believers. Please help the body of Christ be able to reach this lost world, Lord. You're a sovereign God. You can save anybody, Lord. So continue to use us, Lord. I thank you for all that you've done. I thank you for all that you're going to continue to do. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. When.